Hey guys, today we're going to talk about multi-view drawings. In the last video, we made an isometric sketch of this weird looking shape here, uh, and we did that on paper. So if you missed that video, make sure that you go check that out first. So we're going to go from this to an isometric sketch, which looks like this, to a multi-view drawing, which should look like this when we are done. So let's talk about how we do that. Okay, so when we're starting multi-view drawings, it's really important that we use orthographic graph paper. Make sure that you're not using isometric paper. When we do multi-view drawings, it's really important to start with our isometric sketch on the paper, and we do that by taping it to the top right corner. Please make sure that you put tape on all four corners of the taped isometric sketch. Just like in the last video, we'll start by sketching the front view, and we'll do that in the bottom left corner of our paper. Make sure that you draw your front view to scale according to the dimensions that are given in your isometric sketch. In this case, we have a bottom width of six inches, and so we're using the dimensions that are given in the diagram. Notice that the front view that we've created here is exactly the same as the front view that we started with in the last video. After we've finished creating our front view sketch, we're gonna write front under the sketch, and we're also going to add our dimensions. There are specific rules about where dimensions go and what they should look like. We'll focus on those specific rules in another video. Once we finish the front view, the next step is to create some construction lines that will show us where to line up our top and our right side views. So I'm using a ruler to create a really light shaded line that connects all the major intersections of points on my front view. Next, we're going to begin working on the right side sketch of our object. It's helpful to look at the isometric sketch and imagine what that surface would look like if it was completely flat. And that's exactly what we're going to put on our sketch. Once we finish sketching that side, we'll add our dimensions, and then we'll add a right side label under our sketch, just like we did with the front view. The last view to be sketched is the top view. This is where putting those construction lines in is really helpful. It helps us to make sure that our front and our top view are created with the same scale. This is helpful because it allows us to make sure that we are drawing our object in the same scale on all three perspectives. The last thing we will add to our multi-view sketches here are called hidden lines. Hidden lines show us that on a certain face there is a part of that object that's missing but it's hidden behind part of the geometry of that shape. For this specific object we have two hidden lines and they're both on the front view. One is horizontally above the top, and the other is vertically where that cutout takes place that we can see from the top view. And that's it. We have a fully completed multi-view drawing. So that's how we make a multi-view drawing. Ideally, you have your isometric sketch in the top right corner, and you have your front, top, and right side views. As we mentioned in class, there are some shapes that don't need three different views, such as a cylinder or a round shape where your top view might be the same as your side view. Um, so there are some exceptions, but in general, you should have those views. It's also worth mentioning that there are many different strategies as to which face of a shape that you start on. Since this object has such a clear geometry on the front view, it made sense to start there but depending on the shape, it might be different. So it's okay to use a different strategy as long as you get the correct multi-view drawing. As we continue in class, we'll talk more about the rules for putting dimensions onto our multi-view drawings, and we'll continue to kind of get more technical with that as we go along. See you next time.